Hi. Uh, Lesser Saints of Discord here. We're uh, we're we're streaming. Uh, Hi. 4:30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. 7:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 7:33. Um, you liar. We're doing things. It, we we then we start earlier than that. Um. Uh. uh it's my first time. Uh, Rimshi, any uh, Discord news? No. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's his first time. Go gentle, everyone. He's so full Welcome, of shit, though, nice so it, it's all good. Be nice in the chat. You, Welcome you're, you're to the so Lesser Saints Discord, the only show yeah. with a smaller fan base than this show no one's watching. Who are we talking to? Ourselves. This is the, 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 Welcome to Lesser Saints Discord, the only show with a smaller target <laughs> audience in the small village. <laughs> <laughs> Join us while Rimshi, Addy, and Jables uh, discuss things in the news. Hey, it's Skull. Hi, Skull. How do I still remember that description? God damn it. You've, You've done it so it many times, box. I'd be surprised. No, I, I've, no, I've never actually voiced the description other than like the first episode. <laughs> I think I've just read it so many times. Mm. Anyways. Yes, good morning, Vietnam. Do we have any Vietnamese watchers? Uh, I don't see anyone. Hi, Skull. I'm good. How are you? I just got off a 14-hour shift. Yay. Yeah. Woo. Oh. All right, let's talk about how fucked up California is. Fuck yeah! I got this one. <laughs> yeah, of course you do. You live there. I live in this horrendous, horrendous state. All right. Oh. What? 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 No, I want to read this. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, off. Addy, you actually want to volunteer to read an article? Done. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There I'm you the go. Mechanic, this is mine. <laughs> uh, where the fuck is it? Where is it? Uh, 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 where is it? Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. I don't think we've ever had that reaction. No, no, we haven't. <laughs> no, this is a violation of my civil rights. This is I'm gonna move to You're right, it is. I'm gonna it move is to a violation of your civil rights. And you're not gonna hear an argument from me. <laughs> All right, <Yeah>. <laughs> so. <laughs> me neither. Oh, and it's from Jalopnik, so it's actually credible. And will probably be well written. Um, so, uh, today in utter bullshit, uh, Sacramento County says it's illegal to work on your own car in your own garage. There's an interesting discussion happening over at the Grassroots Motorsports Forum right now, and presumably at many other places offline. It's about laws in Sacramento County stating, essentially, that almost any auto repair you do on your property is illegal. Of course, this is deeply troubling to almost everyone reading right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this... This is utter bullshit. Um, I mean, I just, I just know basic maintenance, but that's, it's still utter bullshit. It um, just interferes with my very points of view. Uh, similar laws do exist in other counties and states, of course, but since there's been some co conversation recently around the Sacramento County laws, we may as well start there. The laws in question have to do with Sacramento Zoning Code, the website for which has an explanation of the codes related to auto repair. The code states that conducting minor vehicle repair or minor automotive repair is legal at a residence and defines minor automotive repair as brake part replacement, minor tune-ups, change of oil and filter, Repair of flat tires, lubrication, other stuff. I see where this is going, and I don't like it. Um, okay, that seems fairly reasonable so far. That is, until you get to this section of, of the explanatory website. Uh, is minor vehicle repair permitted at residences? Yes. However, it is unlawful for any person to engage in or permit others to engage in minor vehicle repair or maintenance in any agricultural, agricultural residential, residential, interim estate, and interim residential zones under any of the following circumstances. One. Using tools not normally found in a residence. Define tools not normally <laughs> found in the residence. Two, yeah, conducted cause... on vehicles registered to persons not currently residing on the lot or parcel. Okay, okay so the tools uh, not normally found in residence. Oh, hold on, I got a pro If I have a problem with one, we got to get through this real quick. All right. No, no. Uh, Here, let, let's let, let's let it go because uh, this could mm. get could get. This guy mm. may actually have okay. something to say on it. 
Okay. Uh, uh, two, conducted on vehicles registered to persons not currently residing on the lot or parcel. Three, conducted outside a fully enclosed garage and resulting in any vehicle being inoperable for a period in excess of 24 hours. Who the fuck are you to mandate that? Uh, here we have some issues. How exactly do you find tools not normally found in a resident? A socket <laughs> set? A torque wrench? A brake drum puller? This feels like a rule that's dangerously open to interpretation, with pretty minimal supporting evidence. Number two is clearly there to prevent people from running off the books repair shops. But what if you're working on a friend's car? And number three means you can't do anything unless you have an actual garage. And whatever you're doing, you better get it all wrapped up inside of one day, which, as most of us who've dealt with one stubborn, time-sucking, hard-to-reach bolt know, is not always possible. Yeah, isn't it fucking ever? Um, of course, major automotive repair, that is anything not explicitly defined under minor auto automotive repair, is not legal anywhere on your own property, even if you're doing it in the sanctity of your own cold closed garage. That is in direct violation of your um, uh, rights as a U.S. citizen. Yeah, I have property right. rights. Like, you, you, you cannot dictate that. You cannot make like, a law that violates somebody's rights. Yeah, I, I mean, let's, let's take this in another way. If I have an old TV, and I want to smash it for shits and gigs, I'm allowed to do that. This is basically saying that you do not own your shit. If you do not have the right to repair it, you do not own your own shit. No, mm -hmm. if, it's my, if it's my property, you can get the fuck out. I'll have a fucking four-day standoff with the cops over that. Yeah, Fuck that you. goes for my drugs, too. Don't interfere with my property. <laughs> I have those drugs. Uh, one commenter on the Grassroots <laughs> Motorsports Forum reported that he'd already been issued a $430 fine for working on his car in his garage. Nimble Motorsports said, um, I have not been left alone. They levied a $430 fine yesterday. You can request a hearing to review the code enforcement decision that costs $700 to complain. These rules aren't from some aren't, aren't from some fussy homeowners association. It's an entire county. As to why the county is so against home automotive repair and, repair and work, they state this reason. Five. Why is code enforcement concerned about residential automotive repair? The chemicals involved. It always comes back. No, no. Chemicals that may cause cancer in the state of fucking California, doesn't it? What the hell is that called? Proposition whatever. Where everything 65. has to have a label? It, yeah, it, prop, prop 65, where everything has to have a label that says, uh, this product contains chemicals that may or may not cause cancer in the state of California. <laughs> they're literally in every single business, so no one pays attention to them. Yeah, mm. and I mean, if you're, if you're doing it right, you're going to have your shit cleaned up anyways. More importantly, oil change is among the approved uh, maintenance. But it's That's also probably... not. No, <laughs> it, it's literally among the approved maintenance. It's on it's on that list up above. Yeah, but with all the with all the other uh, stipulations where that make it unlawful because if you live in a residential area, you can't do it. I just want to say that's, that That's one of the stipulations. No, no, I these are just... the, these are what the regulations apply to. I went to trade school, right? And in my two years with an extra third year as a TA um, uh, in automotive uh, technology, uh, I gained what's called a NATEF certification, National Automotive Technical Education Foundation. Uh, that is the bare minimum that you need to become a licensed automotive technician in the United States. It's valid in any state, cannot be revoked, um, the only thing higher than it is ASC, which is Automotive Service Excellence. Um, not required to run a shop, by the way. Um, if in any state that I know of, aside from California and whatever other ones they mentioned, um, if you are NATEF certified, you can certify your own garage, a shop, as long as you register it um, um, as such, as long as you get a business license and you register it as such. Even if you don't, if you're working on cars in your own driveway, never mind your garage, in your own driveway, if you are NATEF certified, you're a certified technician. 
And if you're doing it on your own property and you tell whoever complains that you're not being paid for it, no one can do a fucking thing about it. This is a violation. This is an absolute violation of your rights as an American. Welcome to the shithole state of California. Okay, I... Rimshi, I want to reference you back to point two, is minor vehicle repair permitted in residences. It says, yes, however, it is unlawful for any person to engage in or permit others to engage in minor vehicle repair or maintenance in any agricultural, agricultural, residential, oh, yeah. what the fuck? residential, this is so fucking interior stupid. estate. Yeah, that's what I was getting at when I said, so, so you still you have, can't do an oil change. If you have a fucking farm and you have a tractor and you just want to change the air filter on your tractor, you're violating the law. Yeah. That which is even worse than not even being able to change your own oil. If you want to tighten a bolt on your vehicle because it's coming loose and you want to do it on your own land because it's residential or agricultural or anything along those lines, that's illegal. It's going to cost you $430. Rimshi, do me a favor. Only if they catch you. Hmm. Burn your fucking state to the ground, please. It disgusts me. I can and neither I confirm that... nor deny. A... You know, um, there was a Facebook group started um, getting people to go to the San Andreas Fault, and everybody slap it at the same time to try to get California to break off. I'm down. Let it That's only going to take care of San Francisco time. and the Bay Area. Hmm. It, it's only going to take, well, it'll take care of most well, of the blue sections. Yeah, let it fucking slide off the continental shelf into the fucking ocean. Yeah. This yeah. this genuinely upsets me. I, I like I'm not doing a bit here. I'm like as a mechanic, I'm really pissed off about this. This is not okay. Guys, this is not okay. Agreed. No. I completely agree with that sentiment. Holy Basically, shit. it's fucking stupid. California is a terrible fucking state. In, in all honesty, I would just I I would love for someone with the means to do it to take the state to the Supreme Court and say that the 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 state's rule is completely unconstitutional. Keep in mind, this is a county law, not a uh, not a state law. Doesn't matter. The entire state's unconstitutional. Yeah. That, that's not entirely well, I, true, but fuck them. Addy, Addy, keep going on with the article, though. Uh, uh, oh, God. Sorry. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> Alright. Uh, uh, America! Mer uh, oh, America trucks and hot rods. Alright, um... <laughs> oh, God. Alright. Uh, do, 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 uh, Just under five. You didn't finish yeah, that first sentence. Yeah. Okay, uh, why is code enforcement concerned about residential automotive repair? The chemicals involved in major automotive repair can pollute our neighborhoods and endanger the health and well-being of our residents. Furthermore, this kind of activity increases vehicle traffic and the visual impact can negatively impact property values. I will not go on a side tirade about how property values can go fuck themselves in the ass. Um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't see how that affects property values. I would be very happy to um, move into the well, neighborhood. I don't see, see how it increases car. vehicle traffic. I will say this. I will say this. In New York State, I can't speak for any other state. I think I think they did it in California too while I was out there, um, specifically in LA County. Um, if you have an unregistered vehicle on your property, uh, that's okay. If you are licensed as as um, as as a vehicle dealer, as in you know like a car dealer, or if you have deemed your property and you've got the proper permits. Um, a scrapyard. If you do not have those and you have a vehicle that is not registered on your property, you will get fined 200 bucks for that. Per vehicle. Oh, that's, that's fucking dumb. Sorry I couldn't pay for the registration. That's well, fucking dumb. Well, Sorry I have enough land that I can drive this thing all over it without having yeah. to go on state property. Um, uh, as well, uh, at least in New York State here, we offer... Um, uh, what the hell are they called? They're called like floater registrations or whatever. Basically, 
it's like a $25 uh, registration that's good for the whole year. You, uh, the vehicle counts as registered, but it does not have to be insured, and it cannot leave the property until it's properly registered. So that's if still you wanna have, stupid. Yeah, that's if you want to have a bunch not... of cars sitting in your front lawn, it's fine as long as they've got that $25 registration on them. That's still okay. fucking stupid. That's violation of yeah, private that, property. That is, yeah, that, yeah, that's that's a that's added property tax. Yeah, yeah, I agree, and that that all comes back to the bullshit that is property value. Um, uh, I can also go into how that's that's a whole social dynamic that has to do with gentrification, pushing minorities out of, you know, like certain areas. Uh, yeah. But that that that's a whole another episode or tirade that I don't feel like getting into right now. Sounds um, like uh, well, uh, so, sounds like it's I, time to to have a special episode where Addy just goes fucking batshit. I, I can I can talk about gentrification because it's happening to my neighborhood right now. Mm. Let's Watching let's it, not then. get into that. Mm. Let's keep going with this article. Yeah, yeah, Jables. At some point, you and I need to rap about this shit on air. Make it one of your All like right. Lando streams. Let me know what it is. Cool. I'll come on. Okay. Um, because I as well grew up in a neighborhood that got gentrified. I got lucky. I was white. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, it seems like codes governing the safe handling of, of chemicals and materials can be enforced without making all auto repair illegal. Yeah, we do it in New York State. If you want to do an oil change in your fucking driveway, as long as you have a container that that oil goes in, it never touches the ground. It goes in a container. You can leave it on your front porch for the rest of your natural life. As long as it's in a safe container, no one can say anything about it. Um, in your uh, opinion, not according to Sacramento. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought I had rights. Um, not in California. Because uh, it does not hard. please the crown. Yeah, mm, mm, yeah. And it's hardly like every repair involves harmful chemicals. In fact, the most common harmful chemical is likely used motor oil. And that's one of the, per that's one of the permitted, residential, permitted residential repairs. That, that phrase <laughs> upsets me on a, on, on a level that I cannot articulate. <laughs> Don't worry, oh. dear. I'm with you. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Uh, besides, lawn and garden care have plenty of harmful chemicals associated with them. Yeah, you can use fertilizer to make fucking explosives. Uh, do, 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 do. Weed killers, pesticides, poisons for all manner of animals and insects, and nobody's trying to outlaw home gardening. I'm not even sure it's fair to say home repair increases vehicle traffic anymore, say a neighborhood barbecue would. Sure, if your lawn is full of junk cars and you're running, a, a, running an illegal lube shop out of your backyard, those are real issues. But residents with project cars they work on there's no good reason that should be illegal. What's more American than a rusty old hot rod with a fucking engine crane next to it sitting in your fucking driveway? That you're Come repairing. On. It's your... Come there, on. There's nothing more American than a project. Yeah. Be it guns, cars, or... Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, the, the, so... The widow down the street that's fucking hot? <laughs> having, having the freedom to have hobbies. Pretty hmm. fucking... Yeah. For people with vintage or unusual cars, there's often no other option than to be able to do at least some of your own repairs. And laws that make that illegal are effectively making vast amounts of the entire car owning as an interest or hobby illegal. And who wants that? Terrible people, that's who. Sad, tedious people who won't rest until the world is slathered in boring grayscale crossovers. That's not a world I want to live in, uh, neither do uh, I, and that's why these laws need scrutiny and pushback. Knowing about them is the first step. Eddie, I, uh... What's up? I just had a great idea. Hmm. You should move to Sacramento. Okay. And put out your RC cars. Like you're working on them. <laughs> See what happens. <laughs> put them on a little lift. Yeah. yeah. It's... It, it, in, Sacra in, in Sacramento, that actually... Those have to be registered. I, 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 don't, I don't doubt it. I'm pretty sure you're kidding, but I really don't doubt it. What is it? Uh, one of my favorite RC YouTube channels uh, used to be called... Um, uh, what the hell was it called? Oh, uh, used to like, review RC cars and stuff. His name is Jang. 
He's 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 a man of Indian descent. He's he's a wonderful dude that's been in the RC for like thirty plus years, and he he had to stop his channel because they outlawed RC cars and everywhere around him. Like they're not they're not outlawed, but they're banned from like all of the parks near him. Um, they they uh they made legislation that made them shut down the track that was near him because the gas powered RC cars were annoying the homeowners association. Um, I hate HOAs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Abolish I I all, I've all, only I've only heard HOAs, of one. HOAs are basically just gatherings of Karens that have figured out how to meddle with everyone around them. Yep. Uh, I I I've heard of one that a buddy of mine was in in the house. It was just because everybody that was a part of the HOA was cool. Yeah. Quick, uh, <laughs> quick side note about HOAs and living in California. In in 2013, when I was in LA County, um, there was a massive drought, a massive drought, and they uh, all over the news. They're saying like, don't run your sprinklers, don't use your hose, don't water your garden. Don't uh, use your hose. You know what I mean. Um, <laughs> and I had a buddy that lived in a suburb right outside of Oakland, right? And he, like, his, his, his lawn turned all brown and ugly because it wasn't getting watered. And the Homeowners Association was leaving threatening letters on his door that he needs to water his lawn during the drought when he was told not to water his lawn by the local government. Or, or, or else he would be fine. Yep. Yeah, this is like... Fuck the HOA. If we're going to get yeah. into HOAs, we're, we're going to need some drinks. Yeah. Speaking and, uh, of I, which... I mean, and we could, we could talk about it forever, and according to the title of this, I'm going to live forever. So... Yeah. Ready? <laughs> Want to live longer? Drink alcohol. New study says. <laughs> well... I'm going to be fucking... 90, 100 easy. Fix your connection, Jables. Ah, there's, there's not much else I can do, man. <laughs> YouTube just told me to try the YouTube Kids app. Yeah, it's been telling me to do that, too. I don't know why. What the fuck? Uh, no. Anyways. Getting old, actress Bette Davis once remarked, isn't for sissies. Physical disabilities, waning energy levels, mental fog, it's not a pretty picture. But here's some good news. A recent study of nearly 8,000 men and women aged 70, 78 to 88 suggests that drinking alcohol at an at a, advanced oh. age might actually increase longevity. Studies into the possible health benefits or harmful effects of moderate alcohol consumption are published constantly often resulting in conflicting recommendations. A modest weekly intake might be good for cardiovascular function, help protect against stroke, and aid in fighting depression. Take that, Mom! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, take that parole officer! <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, according to some sources, the harmful effects of wine, beer, and liquor far outweigh the potential benefits. In a meta-analysis of some 1,300 studies on the subject published last year, suggested that no amount of alcohol is safe under any conditions. Boo. Now, in contrast, a paper entitled Alcohol Consumption in Later Life and Mortality in the United States, just published in the journal, in the journal Alcoholism, there's an entire medical journal called Alcoholism, <laughs> Clinical and Experimental Research, uh, reports that researchers have found consistent associations between occasional and moderate drinking and lower mortality rates compared to lifetime abstainers. Occasional drinkers are those who consume alcohol less than one day a week. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm probably going to die young then. <laughs> <laughs> And who, when they do drink, limit intake to three drinks daily for men, two drinks for women. Uh, this is sexist now. Uh, moderate male drinkers <laughs> indulging in one or more days per week imbibe one to three drinks while females have one to two. 
The study is based on data gathered from the Health Retirement Study, considered one of the largest and most rigorous analyses to date of the relationship between alcohol consumption and mortality in the U.S. Information on the drinking habits of participants was collected annually from 1998 through 2014, with interviews of the subjects conducted twice yearly. Okay, uh, uh, quick problem with that. People lie. They, they might have been drinking more than what they said they were drinking. So, I... Yeah. Well, the results of the study may be good news for the older set. Its authors stress that there are some health conditions under which no amount of drinking is safe. That the role of moderate drinking and mortality continues to be debated. And <clears throat> further study of the subject is needed before... Okay. Wishy-washy bullshit. We're not saying drink alcohol, but, uh... We're also chug, not chug, saying, chug, 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 also chug, not chug. saying don't drink alcohol. That's yeah. kind of like... <laughs> okay, so... That's kind of like titling, like, when you make one of those clickbait YouTube uh, thumbnails, and, like, the title of your video is, like, Do vaccines cause autism? Mm -hmm. No. No, they don't. But isn't that yeah. a catchy fucking title? We were wasting you know, your time on this. Quite often, oh, it, hey, we got someone else following us. Sweet, thanks for following. Neo Jibu. Oh. Hey, Neo. Neo. Thanks for following. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, this, this shit's fucking stupid. Like, anytime you get yeah, a, um, you get a, um, uh, <laughs> anytime you get a freaking article that starts with a question the answer is usually no but we're gonna stretch this into about yeah 500 words 1200 yeah. words but it, here here's the issue with the study is it like they were interviewing elderly people about how much they drink people lie that's the reason why a lot of diet studies are garbage because they're asking people what they ate during the week and people are going to lie and say that they didn't eat as much garbage as they actually did mm. Oh, I'll tell you exactly what I, I've been eating all week. Neo Gibu? I drank beer and I ate hops. Neo Gibu. Uh, okay. Sorry. Neo Gibu! Yeah. That's pretty cool. Cool. Uh, Your favorite of the day. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. So. Neo Gibu. Just playing with the name. Let's keep going. <laughs> well, he said hard G, not soft. Well, uh, hold on, hold on. Um, yeah. Actually, no. I'm. I was gonna go on a rant about veganism and the studies that all the vegans fucking propose and shit. But never mind. Oh yeah, that shit, shit fucking sucks. I mean, don't get me wrong. I got yeah. nothing. No issue with vegans per se. No. It's the vegans that are like, you should eat. Uh, you should not be taking your sh uh, shit out on animals and all all that fun stuff. Hashtag no. Uh, yeah, no, I, it's fine. I have a I have a vegan buddy. I didn't know he's vegan for the first two years that I knew him. <laughs> two of my favorite people on the internet, Jenna Marbles and Julian Solomita, they're both vegan and they're hilarious and wonderful people. And you should all follow them. Wow! Now I'm curious what the what what that slaughterhouse was like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, did you did you guys see that video of the people that were protesting the slaughterhouse and they hooked oh, the their guy necks around the machinery? Oh no! What? No, no. They they took they took bike locks in and like the super nice kryptonite bike locks. Okay. And put them around the net their necks and strapped themselves to the machinery. And then the workers started the machinery. Did anyone get mangled? Because that would be awesome. No, no. They they ended up getting it stopped and unlocking the guy. But yeah. <laughs> Did you see they, the one? The, like, we're, the uh, workers there just wanted to scare him because it's like, yeah, we have to work. Yeah. Did you see the one You're last year really where there were, there were like vegans protesting somewhere? I don't remember where the hell it was. But there was like a meat truck coming through. And one guy was like, I'm going to stop the meat truck. And he got hit by the fucking meat truck. 
they get like he literally walked right into the truck's blind spot and got fucking plowed. <laughs> yeah, he was okay. If you wanna... He was okay. The truck just like knocked him out of the fucking road, but it was like yeah, fucking idiot. If you if you want to if you want to quit if you want people to start being vegan, quit being assholes. Explain your point. You're, the the best argument you can make for veganism is just the factory farming in general. All right. Uh, I'm pretty anti factory farming. I buy a lot of my so, shit from local areas. Um, so there's this uh, there's this Australian comedian. I don't remember the comedian himself's name, but he's like the Australian. Uh, who's the fucking guy with all the puppets? Jeff oh, Fafa. Uh, Jeff Dunham. Yeah. Talking about he has yeah. that. That purple, yeah. purple puppet that sits behind the desk and everything? Yes, the purple peanut. puppet Randy. Yeah. Randy. Um, no, that's Peanut. Randy. No, you're a fucking idiot. Shut up. <laughs> um, I'm talking about the Australian guy. Not oh. You're, you're a stupid idiot. Go away. Go back yeah. to California where you can't work on cars. Um, Learn some fucking comedy, Rimshi. I know who this uh, guy is. So, yeah, he had a whole you know special called Randy Writes a Book. Uh, and anyone who was on YouTube like two months ago probably got it to, probably got it suggested to them because that's how I found it. And um, in it, he, like halfway through, he explains why he, the puppet apparently, is vegan and why you should be vegan too. And he articulate he articulates it in a very funny and very logical way. And it didn't convince me. I'm not going to be a vegan, but that's how you do it. You know, you don't just shove your finger in people's faces. Be like, it should be. Think of that fucking cow had a family. You piece of shit. Like, no one wants to hear that. No one's gonna be on your side if you start accusing them and making them feel bad. Yeah, I I I remember that chick that went into a restaurant. She's like, I came here and I saved a little girl from this restaurant. Ba 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 ba, and it was a chicken. Uh, it was a, she went on this whole rant making it seem like there was some sort of like sex trafficking going on in the back of this restaurant and it, she was talking about a chicken. Real talk, were they having sex with the chicken though? No. I, I would have pretended I to can't... be vegan, walked up, asked to hold it, and then just snapped its fucking neck. Dinner. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, there are like, there are tons of people around me that have chickens. It's great. Eggs are really good. Vegetarians, you should look... If anybody's a vegetarian, you should look into eggs for your proteins, because they're laying those eggs no matter what. If not, they just go to waste. Yep. Can't all be chickens, might as well eat them. Yep. Yum. And they, they only become chickens if they get fertilized by a rooster, so they're going to lay the eggs regardless. You might as well eat them. Much different than... I, I understand staying away from, like, milk and cheese and stuff, because that's actually having physical interaction with the cow. And, like, taking the milk and all that jazz. Yeah, I don't but, care. Then again, I also eat meat, so yeah, me not yeah, caring. Yeah, I, I, I also, I also don't really me. care. I'm just... I'm, throw, I'm throwing out... Yeah. An, I'm throwing right. out a, pro, a protein argument for vegetarians. Yeah. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, I don't care what you do like if you want to be vegan if you want to be vegetarian if you want to be an omnivore like you're fucking supposed to be i'm not going to impress either i'm not going to try to convince you not to be i'm not going to try to convince you one way or the other whatever you want to do that's cool if you want to tell me about being vegan and you want to teach me about be being vegan and why i should do it that's fine as long as you understand that i'm going to respectfully say that's cool not for me bro sorry like, mm -hmm. that that's all I ask, that we respect each other. Like, I know it's a meme. Oh, found the vegan, but, you know, like, whatever. Uh, I, I've got uh, vegan friends. I used to make fun of vegans all the time until I had vegan friends explain to me, like, why they are the way they are. And, like, that that's cool. I respect it. I will completely respect you. But, like, uh, it, it's kind of like, it's kind of like if you're going to talk about social issues, that's fine. Having outspoken opinions on a social issue like, like, like how many black people are disproportionately shot by cops compared to white people, 
and I know that there's reasons for all of it. I I am pro cop. Don't get get you. Don't get on my ass. But nobody's gonna know, get on your ass. Yeah. If Except you want to talk uh, about someone we both know, um, if you want to talk about these issues, that's fine in a respectable manner. It's when the people that we consider quote unquote social justice warriors are the people who don't know and don't understand that there's a time and a place for things. And, like, you'll be in line at Chick-fil-A, and they'll be like, George Bush doesn't give a shit about black people. And you're like, I'm just trying to buy a fucking sandwich. Can you shut the fuck up? You know, it, like, it's the same thing with veganism, you know? Like, I will respect you. Like, I am a respectful meat eater. I'm not going to go around to someone that I know is vegan. Like, if you're at a restaurant and you ask if there's a vegan option or, like, a vegan menu, I'm not going to be two tables over going, ha, ah, fag! You know, like, you, you do you. I'll do me, you know, but if you're the kind of person that can't resist the urge to jump down someone's dick about them eating meat, then fuck you. So I'm drunk and I'm rambling. <laughs> yeah, no, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah, I, I've, had, I've had the veganism argument. I've looked into it and everything, and most of the studies that they put forward have been, uh, have been falsified at this point. Uh, mm-hmm. And also, keep in mind, everybody's uh-huh. body different we don't always absorb nutrients the same way Mm. and so some people literally cannot do a vegan diet because it's bad for them also i will say this like i said i respect your vegan lifestyle that's fine your pets particularly your cats cannot be vegan you are poisoning your animal if you're giving them a vegan only diet yeah yeah Sorry. But As an animal lover, I just wanted to add that little addendum. Isn't that right, vegan gains? <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. Yeah, his, Someone his should take fucking your fucking dog. dogs away. He, no, no, he, no, no, he feeds his dogs meat now. Because his dog almost died. Good. Yeah, he feeds his dog meat. I don't, I don't care what you do to yourself, but your animals are not you. Your animals do not live trendy fucking lifestyles. Your animals are animals, and they need the diet that is recommended to them by, by the Veterinarians Association. If you have a dog, it's an omnivore. If you have a cat, it's a carnivore. Well, not all dogs still, are straight uh, omnivores. Some still are more carnivores. Yeah. And, 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 they, and, and mo- most dogs actually do need a high, high meat protein diet. What I'm saying... What I'm saying... Some some dogs are omnivores, but all cats are strict carnivores. They need a meat-based diet, or they cannot survive. They will be very very sick. I know this. I know this because when I was in California, my friends all told me about this weird lady that was vegan. She was she was the local crazy cat lady lady that was vegan. And isn't it weird that all the strays she took in constantly died? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> by the way, Rin- Rinchi, I think I just got an idea for uh, for your wedding gift for me. I'm probably just going to buy you like 2,000 green crayons so you can have some munchies mm. on, the, on the honeymoon. Mm. <laughs> Throw in some blue ones. Does anyone remember... Uh, oh, okay. uh, was it late 90s, early 2000s? It had Seth Green in it. It was a show with Muppets called Greg the Bunny. Vaguely. There was an right. episode where they all played paintball. And the fucking... There was a turtle called Tardy the Turtle. And... Yeah, the joke is he's mentally retarded. It was not <laughs> um, He's just like... Everyone's out running around playing paintball. And he's just eating all the paintballs. And he's like, the green one's <laughs> <laughs> do the green yeah. ones make you horny, Rishi? No, they just taste the best. The blue oh, ones yeah. also taste pretty good, but the only reason I'm saying to throw some of those in too is because if all I have are green ones, eventually I'll get tired of them. Ah, uh, that's fair. I'll I'll uh, yeah. come up with a good scheme. What's your favorite brand? Mm, I mean, cr- you can't go wrong with Crayola, but. Like Rose Art? Yeah, Rose Art's not bad either. Yanni says that uh, <laughs> green, 
Green tastes like jelly juice. <laughs> uh. Anyways, <laughs> let's talk about. <laughs> Let's talk uh, business, man. <laughs> uh. Here's your playlist, shithead. Echo Dot owner claims Amazon's Alexa assistant began swearing at him after he quit his Prime membership. You know, I'm fairly certain this is not real, but let's talk about it anyway. <laughs> Michael Slade, 29 says the abusive names followed his asking Alexa to play music. Amazon technical support have no idea why the assistant has begun to curse. The tech firm has offered Mr. Slade a $250... Uh, has offered him $250 and a year of Prime as compensation. It is unclear if someone installed joke software on Alexa to get it to say expletives. There's the quick huh. breakdown. An Echo Dot owner claims that Amazon's Alexa assistant has started calling him shithead whenever he oh. asks the personal assistant to play him music. Sounds like a load of barnacles. Yeah. Let, let's be honest, he's probably told it, hey, call me this. Call me shithead. So every time it finishes a command, it, it can say, I will get right on that, shithead. Remember, remember when the Kinect came out? on the Xbox 360. We would have house parties at my place all the time, and people would be playing, like, Just Dance. And it had all these voice commands. And, like, while, while, while we're all drunk and shit-faced and, like, eating nachos or whatever, uh, some of the girls would be over, like, shaking their booty and, like, twerking, playing, like, Just Dance. And one of us would just randomly shout, Xbox, turn off. And it would piss them off so bad. <laughs> That's not related at all, but I just found it really funny. Michael Slade, 29, has reportedly shocked, uh, was reportedly shocked when his Echo Dot speaker began to swear at him following his cancellation of his Amazon Prime subscription. The incident has reportedly left Amazon engineers puzzled, with the tech firm offering Mr. Slade, <sighs> Mr. Slade gift cards and a year of free Prime membership in compensation. Yes. Software. Let's extend our article by repeating all the shit that we already said. Well, no, that was the uh, that that was the bullet points that I read earlier. Yeah, maybe. but uh, let's be honest. That I mean, they they've over here in the corner where where shit's getting highlighted. Uh, if you read this bit right here, female today. <sighs> this is the Daily Mail. They yeah. They'll accept any anything at this point. Oh wait, hold hold, hold on. I do have to acknowledge this since uh, Yami is uh. Just giving an in innocent smile and waiting. Jeff is the next Shane Dawson. Oh. Uh. Documentary wise, he's trying for something like that. Yeah, I guess. He's infinitely more interesting. Than he's not gonna. He's not gonna go out in blackface though. Oh <laughs> shit! I wonder if he'll jizz on his cat's stomach. No. <laughs> uh, it, got, it, it got real quiet after I said that. Mm. Rosario's Burger maybe, King. Uh, maybe, maybe I am an edgy boy tonight. You know, I, 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 I don't know, but I think this is just fucking bullshit. Like th this is so full of shit. Software is available for the Echo Dot speaker that can make Alexa curse, but it is unclear whether someone might have deliberately uploaded this to the device. Um. Yeah, it makes me doubt his claims that much more. Press X to doubt. Well, maybe he has a buddy that's somebody like me that would uh, get his Amazon Echo to call him a shithead. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure the friend would cop to it before it got to this level. No one's as dedicated. I... There aren't many people as dedicated to a joke as you are. I, you'd, you'd be surprised. Speaking of which, sit. look forward in the coming weeks. We might have uh, Lisa Cameltoe on as a guest. Oh boy, I don't know who that is, but I'm sure his new good. girlfriend, uh, fiance. <laughs> no, I, I guess <laughs> we're gonna get it. We're gonna get a green card marriage. I, I don't even want to finish this bullshit because I, I, I. It's dumb. And you're, you're practically done. It's a really short article. 
It's dumb and lame and fake. It's fake and gay. Let's move on. Yeah. Fake and gay. <sighs> okay. So bullshit. Let's let's talk about ticks instead. Go for it, James. Savage tick clone armies are sucking cows to death. Whoa! Hey! Whoa! <laughs> whoa! 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 <laughs> Phrasing people, come on! <coughs> Expert uh, sphere for humans. Like, I've got a fur affinity count too, but fuck, I did not need that image in my head. <laughs> Spreading invasive tick spawns without mating and can transmit deadly disease. Oh, lion disease? <laughs> Uh, ravenous swarms of clone ticks have killed a fifth cow in North Carolina by exsanguination. That yeah. is, by winning it of blood. Yeah. The state's Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services warned this week. Experts fear that the bloodthirsty throngs, which were first noticed in the United States in 2017, will continue their rampage, siphoning life out of animals and eventually transmitting diseases, potentially deadly ones, to humans. Huh, this is weird. It seems like, uh... Least, there's been a lot of, like, weird, crazy ticks, like that Lone Star tick that makes you allergic to red meat. Oh, if um, I ever get bitten by that thing, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Yeah, same. I'd love a good steak. I'd, um, rather, I'd rather deal with the uneasy feeling to enjoy that flavor. Or yeah. whatever the issue is. And you might die. Uh, uh, I accept this. Yeah. I'd rather die eating a steak than live forever without having one. Um, I'd rather just die, period. Yeah. <laughs> okay, edge boy. <laughs> um, so much edge. <laughs> just as much edge as a latex balloon. Wow. How many times can you say that joke? Three. I added latex. Shut up. <laughs> Maybe next time it'll be funny. Uh, and yeah, it's it's really weird. It's it's like we got all these new ticks. Something might be going on. Just last month, infectious disease researchers in New York reported the first case of the tick species biting a human in the U.S. Hold on, the Gables? finding was Gables. Why two cases? Something actually funny. <laughs> Have killed a fifth cow in a redneck state. Olivia Jabri Sanchez Smith was found dead after being drained of 45 gallons of gravy tinged hemoglobin after passing out on her lawn. <laughs> Thank you, Y2K. Hmm. I don't know who that is. Y2K? Sorry. Y2K no. and W? You don't, you don't know San Y2K? Jabri, Jabri, Jabri Sanchez Smith. Oh, <laughs> that's the cow! <laughs> Yeah. Ah. That's the cow's name, you fucking idiot. If you were on Tutter, you'd know that. I'm so sorry. I haven't been on Tutter lately. <laughs> Plus, a, it's probably way out of my area. That's a callback, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Remember Tutter? Remember the Tutter joke? By the way, I do have to check in on that. I was referencing oh. the Tutter joke. You know what I found out is uh, Tutter and FarmersOnly.com. Those two websites go great together. <laughs> sorry, sorry, YCK. I didn't mean to intentionally hurt your feelings. I'm sorry. <laughs> Normally I aim to intentionally hurt people's feelings. I do not aim to unintentionally hurt their feelings. I'm sorry. For that, I apologize. It was very rude. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay. Uh, d d d d just last month, infectious disease researchers in New York reported the first case of the tick species biting a human in the U.S. The finding was unsurprising, given the tick's ferocious nature, according to Dr. Bobby S. Pritt, director of the Clinical Paras Parasitology Laboratory in Mayo Clinic. And it's extremely worrisome for several reasons. She wrote in a commentary for the Journal of Clinical Infections, Infectious Diseases. The tick, the Asian longhorn tick, or not gonna say that, 
was first found <laughs> terrorizing his sheep in New Jersey in 2017 and has established local populations in at least 10 states since it sneaked in. Its invasive sweep is due in large to do in large part to the fact that a single well-fed female can spawn up to 2,000 tick clones parthenogenically, that is, without mating. In a matter of weeks, and unlike other ticks that tend to feast on a victim for no more than seven days, mobs of scientific name can latch on for up to 19 days. H. Longicornis. H. Longicorni. Wow, they didn't even spell out the first fucking name. That's pretty typical. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they, they gave up halfway through. Just what like a bunch of bitches. They could have fucking padded out the article. <laughs> amateurs. Fucking amateurs, I tell you. <laughs> Bloody blitzes. It's like they never did a report. fucking college fucking, uh, <laughs> essay before. A single well-fed right. female can spawn countless young as long as the welfare and child support hold out. Y2K. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> According to the new report out of North Carolina, the latest victim, there was a young bull in Surrey County at the border with Virginia. At the time of its death, the doomed beast had more than 1,000 ticks on him. Holy shit. The official cause of death was acute anemia, which is typically associated with severe hemorrhaging. The bull's owner had lost four other cattle the same way since 2018. The case echoes the first for first. That that rancher has just the worst luck. I know. The case echoes the first report of the tick, which stalked a lone sheep paddocked in an affluent neighborhood in New Jersey in August 2017. The animal has been besieged by hundreds of ticks, which scrambled up the legs of health investigators when they walked in to survey the situation. Damn. Since then, researchers at the National Veterinary Services Laboratories looked back through their tick samples and discovered a larval H. longicornis was isolated from a white-tailed deer in Tyler County, West Virginia in 2010, backdating the first case known in the U.S. Still, researchers don't know when the tick first arrived and where where it came from. Got an itch there. Fucking right. Where it's it came from. It's, it's where it came originates. from. Yeah, but they spelt it were. Yeah, but it's where, where it came from. Where, where it came from. Maybe that's what they meant. Where it came from. Yep. Um, We're talking about redneck towns here. Not, so. not, <laughs> you guys right. invited me to the show. If that's, if that's, if that's <laughs> how you want me to read this from now on, that's how this is going. All right. Age of Corona originates as a monocursus. Yes. In Asia, specifically eastern China, Russia, Korea, and Japan, in recent decades, it has made its way to Australia, New Zealand, and several other Pacific islands, as well as the U.S. It's Australia. Spots. Australia. New, New Zealand. New Zealand, yay. Hong Kong, yeah. China. In China and Southern Korea. Ch- the tick Co- is known to spread Korea. SF- <laughs> 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 Hold on, gotta collect myself. Ching chong ding dong ass ticks. <laughs> Can't understand you. Go back to your country. What power? Sure, sure for the Addy! fever with what? Roma, Roma syndrome virus. SFTSV is related to Heartland virus found in the U.S. and has had reported mortality rates up to thirty percent. H. Longicorni is also known to transmit. R- Rickettsia japanica. Rickettsia. What? Not, whatever. The cause of Japanese spotted fever and the Thalaria orientalis 
That sounds racist. Which is behind cattle, Thalerosius of Sussus. It has also been found harboring relatives of U.S. pathogens, according to those that cause anaplasmosis, enrichgliosis, babesiosis, and Powassan virus. I tell you what, I hate them. all them. them. All them <laughs> I feel them. this is just oh, oh. stupid shit at this point. <laughs> so far, health investigators haven't found the ticks harboring any of these germs, but there's a risk that that at any point they could be introduced, Dr. Pritt notes. And Basically, if they are, the diseases could be easily spread like wildfire throughout the ravenous horror picks. Basically, don't get fucking drunk in the South and wander into a fucking field and pass out because you won't wake up. You'll get fucking vampired into fucking oblivion by a bunch of hungry-ass ticks. Yeah. You know, it, it's weird that these just suddenly showed up. Sounds like a government plant, if you ask me. Well, it's speaking tough. of that, Funny, Pentagon that. Oh, wait, ordered wait, to... Wait, 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 guys, 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 hold on. Pentagon second. ordered hold to tell Congress hold. if it weaponized ticks and release them into the public. Hold, hold, whoa, <laughs> hey, hold on. <laughs> Got, before we get into this here article, I just wanted to say, uh, I rescind everything I just said. Uh, I didn't mean it. It tort nothing but a bad joke. Uh, it's got nothing. To, I, I, I'm not under duress from any government agency. It's got nothing to do with the glowing red dot painted across my forehead. Um. Uh. Uh. uh okay, you're done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pentagon ordered to tell Congress if it weaponized ticks and release them into the public. Hmm. Some hmm. members of the United States House are concerned that the Pentagon may have released or unleashed disease-infected ticks that cause the spread of Lyme disease. Roll Call oh, reports that on July 11th, the House stealthily decided via voice vote to support an amendment to the two th- uh, uh, the 2020 Defense Authorization Bill. That were, would require the Department of Justice to look into weaponized ticks. It hurts. <laughs> what? It hurts my head when I think about other people on this planet. Oh. Uh, according to the Congress focused newspaper, New Jersey Republican Rep. Christopher Smith wrote the amendment which demands the Inspector General shall conduct a review of whether the Department of Defense experimented with ticks and other insects regarding use as a biological weapon between the years of 1950 and 1975. And they're assuming it's not still happening. If the review determines that such a project took place then the amendment reportedly insists the inspector general must present congress with information on the scope of the research including whether any ticks or insects used in such experiments were released outside of any laboratory by accident or experiment design smith who is co-chairman of the congressional lyme disease caucus told roll call he <laughs> hoped Told Roll Call he hopes the Inspector General will share information that shed light on these reports and could be used to hinder the spread of Lyme disease. We need answers, and we need them now, Smith told Roll Call. For years, there have been reports of, uh, and theories circulating that suggest Department of Defense researchers at facilities like New York's Plum Island and Maryland's Fort Detrick may have infected insects for biological weapon tests and then released those insects outside of the lab leading to the spread of Lyme disease. A book published in May, Bitten, The Secret History of Lyme Disease and Biological Weapons, has brought public attention to these notions which may have inspired Smith to propose this amendment that is co-sponsored by Maryland Republican Andy Harris and Minnesota Democrat Colin Peterson. A review by Outside Magazine says, Bitten author 
Chris Newby, research shared in the book, rests on shaky ground and presents a lot of evidence. But no you know smoking what? gun providing a connection between government bio-warfare uh, bio research and the Lyme disease outbreak. You know what? This sounds an awful lot like some fucking info war shit. Close Are we enough. sure that Chris Newby is not actually just a surname or like a pen name for fucking uh, surname? That that means last name. I'm drunk. Uh, are we sure that's not like a pen name for Alex Jones? Uh, not unless that's Maybe. a stock photo, and it says he's a senior editor, editor and reporter for Gizmodo. Oh, well, fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ! How to how to shoot your credibility right in the foot? I work for <laughs> Gizmodo. Ah. Uh. Oh. I have to pee and get more beer. I'll be back whenever. I don't care. Bye. Oh, oh. Okay. We're 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 done. We're done with the we're done with the text, guys. It's okay. We're moving on to more fun shit. That might be future fun shit for humans. Yeah. Yeah. Take it away. Cause I like this kind of shit. Why are these mice hallucinating? Scientists are in their heads. New laser technology appeared to trigger particular images in the brains of lab mice. You know what this means? This means we can get high off light. Laser light show <laughs> of getting high, man! It's not drugs. It's, it's, pure, it, it's lasers. Yeah. It's in a laboratory lasers, for the- man. In a laboratory at the Stanford University School of Medicine, the mice are seeing things, and it's not because they've been given drugs. With new laser technology, scientists have triggered specific hallucinations in mice by switching on a few neurons with with beams of light. The researchers reported the results on Thursday in the journal Science. The technique promises to provide clues to how billions of neurons in the brain make sense of the environment. Eventually, the research also may lead to new treatments for psychological disorders, including uncontrollable hallucinations. It's fine. I remember the last time I took acid, it was, uh... It was, uh, day after St. Patrick's Day, a couple years ago. I was really drunk getting home from the bar, and I was like, I was gonna take this tomorrow anyways, and I took it, took a massive bong rip, and then passed out and woke up at my peak. For I legal wish reasons, we stop this those is a uncontrollable joke. hallucinations. Yeah, it's totally a joke. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> so, I'm back, and I just want to um, that I ran downstairs to the kitchen to grab another beer. I keep my tall boys right on, right on the door of the fridge. Uh, and I got halfway up the stairs before I realized that I had, without looking, grabbed a jar of pickles. <laughs> <laughs> chug, 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 <laughs> chug. Nothing wrong with a pickleback. Ah. Okay. <laughs> this is spectacular. This is the dream, said Lindsay Clickfield, a neuroscientist at Duke University who is not involved in the new study. What? <laughs> Why are they interviewing somebody who wasn't involved in the study? Because they couldn't reach anyone who was involved in the study because they're not not a legitimate news organization. In the early 2000s, Dr. Carl Deseroth, a psychiatrist and neuroscientist at Stanford and other scientists, engineered neurons in the brain of living of living mouse mice. What the fuck? To switch on when exposed <laughs> to a flash of light. That's not me misspeaking. That's how that's written. The technique is known as optogenetics. Yeah, uh, careful with optogenetics because there's a bunch of scam artists out there saying that mm. if you just shine a bunch of different colored lights in your eyes, you're going to feel better. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, and you're going to recover from sickness and whatnot. No. In the first wave of these experiments, researchers used light to learn how various types of neurons worked, but Dr. Desaroth wanted to be able to pick out any individual cell in the brain and turn it on and off with light. So he and his colleagues designed a new device. Instead of just bathing a mouse's brain in light, 
It allowed the researchers to deliver tiny beams of red light that could strike dozens of individual brain neurons at once. This is actually kind of creepy. This is like fiber opti optics for your brain. Um, I know I already said this um, once tonight, but it sounds like a load of barnacles. No. Yeah, but this one I actually trust. Yeah. Yeah, you would, because you're from California. Throughout this new system, Dr. Diesel Roth and his colleagues focused on the brain's perception of the visual world when light enters the eyes of a mouse or a human. It triggers nerve endings in the retina that send electrical impulses to the rear of the brain. There, in a region called the visual cortex, neurons quickly detect edges and other patterns which the brain then assembles into a picture of reality. Hmm. So, try and, trying to think of what cool shit they could make me see with this. No. The scientists inserted two genes into neurons and the blah blah blah. I I don't know. This article is getting good old super fashioned beer. Now. Yeah, it's getting technical. <laughs> it, 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 it'll be in the description on the VOD, so check that out. Yeah, if you yeah, if you want to see all everything else. Let's talk Let's see. Should we talk about, about the moon or the meteorite? If, if, if the meteorite's coming to kill us all, I want to talk about that. Cause that's... <laughs> it's not no. coming to kill us all. Then who cares? Just a dumb Australian man thought it was gold. Oh, 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 he found a meteorite and thought it was gold. So I take it we're going with the Australian dumbass? Nah, let's go with the moon. We've been trying to get through this one for the last two weeks. <laughs> yeah, the this moon, one's actually interesting. The moon, which not only have we never gone to, it's a hologram. What's causing the huge mass anomaly beneath the moon? And yes, I'm ignoring you, Addy. The far side of the moon contains an enormous and very weird structure at its south pole, and scientists think they might know the source of this anomaly. The south pole, Attican Basin, is a huge crater produced by an ancient impact on the moon whose longest access would span from New York City to Omaha, Nebraska. Beneath this basin lies a strange anomaly, an excess of mass extending at least 300 kilometers down, more than 10 times the depth of the Earth's crust. Scientists think this might be a re, uh, remnant of whatever impacted, uh, whatever impactor created the creator, or the crater. God damn Ain't no one created the creator but the creator himself. Praise Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah, brother. Two Wait. data sets contributed to the research. <laughs> to uh, topography data from the Lunar Orbiter Laser Altimeter, LOLA, on board the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, LRO, and global gravity data from the pair of small gravity recovery and interior lab... The, s the Grail. Fuck it. The Grail spacecraft. Care care careful about Lola. Turns out if you pay attention to that song, Lola's a man. Oh, yeah. Lola, Lola, Lola. Lola. Analysis of the two taken together revealed a conspicuous mass ex... Uh, ex a uh, conspicuous mass excess in the mantle. Under the basin, with around 2.18 uh, 2 quintillion, that's 10 to the 18 power, kilograms extra mass, according to the paper published in Geographical Fit Research Letters. That's about the mass of a decently sized asteroid. I thought you were going to say that's about the mass of a decently sized asteroid. No, unfortunately. How did so much extra mass end up there? The team presented two ideas. Perhaps some process caused certain material to concentrate beneath the basin as the lunar mantle cooled. Or, intriguingly, 
The extra mass could suggest the presence of an enormous metal core deposited in the moon mantle left over from the impact. Or, or the mass is a fly that settled on the lens of the projector because the moon's a hologram! Or you're completely wrong, Eddie. Either way! No, 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 no. A- a- Eddie's not wrong. Nope, we ain't never landed on the moon. Neil Armstrong is a government that, plant. Why, why do you... Why do you think it has a light? If it doesn't, if it's yeah. not being projected by light, yeah. how does it have the light? There ain't, ain't, ain't no. I'm not gonna argue with going you, into James. Outer space. I know you're full of shit because you have argued this with other people so often. Either I way, don't know what you're talking about? Either I'm not, way, I'm not, I'm not Jables. This is Jimbles. I'm gonna meet you. <laughs> Either way, this is, should this, this mass this anomaly continue to Jimbom. exist under? <laughs> continue to exist under further scrutiny, it's going to have important implications for scientists' understanding of the moon's history. If the mass was produced by an impact, its location around 400 kilometers southeast of the crater's center could help improve our knowledge of how impacts form craters. According to the paper, if it was caused by uneven crystallizing of a magma's ocean, then scientists will want to understand why and how that occurred. (laughs) (laughs) He doesn't realize that the entertainment value is really the most important part in creating good stream. We can talk about all the stuff you don't want. You guys were muted for a while. (laughs) <laughs> oh my god. God uh, damn, you fucking, you fucking yuppie piece of shit, you city Rin- slicker. Rinchy. I told you. you that's all over the fucking place. Rin- <laughs> Rimshi, you're my favorite yuppie. <laughs> you're the only right one now, I not- like. <laughs> Mate, Jimbles is not too happy with you right now. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of lunar ex... Okay, excitement. I thought that said excrement for a minute there. <laughs> it is the a lot of that there. There's a lot of lunar moon, excrement. No, it is It is excrement because the moon is a load of shit and it's a fucking hologram. <laughs> it is. It's a fucking hologram. You, know, you know how they call... You can't, you can't you know silence call, You can't you know silence you, us, Richie. You cannot but, silence us. Jimbles, J- Jimbles, I know you know what I'm talking about here. You know when you walk into a field and you step in some cow shit, you call that a cow pie? Well, mm-hmm. where do you think the term moon pie came from? Yeah, it's um, fucking shit. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's moon excrement because the moon is a bunch of shit because it's a hologram and there's a fucking fly on it. Why? Someone's going to walk in the office, wave their hand on the projector, it's going to go away. And then all this fucking talk of the moon having a solid iron core and all this stupid bullshit, it's all gonna go away. Because the moon... Amen. It, it ain't... Amen, brother. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't no moon, because <laughs> ain't no real outer space. Ain't real. It fucking... Uh, I gotta drink more beer. I'm sorry. <laughs> break it. I, break it. I, break I'm it. starting to sober up. Hold on. I'm starting... I'm starting to sober well, up. What, what? I cannot articulate. My name's Cousin Eddie. Can't, can't, can't have that. You can't be sober. Otherwise, your brain doesn't work right. Because if you're sober, then the that's when the brain oh. bugs start getting in. Oh god! <laughs> now, now, listen here. I'm paying attention to the chat. Neo Debo, mm-hmm. I got, I gotta say something. He said, "Addy, please don't use that voice anymore. You sound exactly like my brother." Look, if I sound yeah. like your brother, it's a good chance your brother, also your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Amen. Look, 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 and I, I ain't here to judge. We're all discerning folk. It's, it's fine. This is, this is a safe We're- space. It's a we're safe all space. Part of that, we're all a part I'm, of that family tree that goes just straight up. Yeah, yeah this, this, <laughs> this is a safe space. I'm just saying, when you log off of the twitch.com tonight, go into your bathroom, take, t- 
take one of them their measuring tapes and check the space between your eyeballs. If it's real far apart, your brother probably your daddy. <laughs> I thought you were going to say measure your colon. No. See? Wow. Now, now Rimshi? Yeah, yeah. Rim no, we're good, we're good <laughs> Christian Southern folk here. Rimshi? We don't talk yes, California we don't talk. talk. We don't do none of that in the civilized <laughs> East out here, all right? <laughs> no. We don't we don't talk about that kind of stuff. That's, that's <laughs> kiss. that ain't right. Y two K. If your colon is real deep, you might be Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> what this? Don't know what all this uh this uh talk of Eddie is. My name is. Hold on a minute here. I gotta make an addendum. Eddie Joe. Right. My name. As evidenced by the screen before your very eyes, is Cousin Eddie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. What's man, I wish, uh... Uncle, I wish we'd get Uncle Ted in here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, no, nah, no. Nah, you don't bring that ornery son of a bitch around me, all right? That motherfucker owe me all kind of money. Look. Look, man, I, been, I, 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 I smuggled some Thai stick while while uh, Uncle Ted was in while Uncle Ted was in prison. I smuggled in some Thai stick for him. Motherfucker threw out the shampoo bottles that I hit it in. Look, 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 look! Don't, don't, <laughs> don't what? Get me started. What? Don't get me started what? On, that no, on that no good carpet ass dragon motherfucker. Shut up, no cousin Eddie. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> Jeff is having poo problems. Yeah. <laughs> Look. Oh no! Look, look, that move. Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right. Look, Ted owes me seven hundred fifty-four dollars and seventy-four cents from the last time he visited the Shadow Realm on one of his cocaine benders going cross state lines with an anklet bracelet on. All right. Look, God it's all on Jeff Holiday Ted. to Electric Boogaloo. Right, Jeff. Yeah. Jeff was live streaming, or sorry, I'm so I'm sorry. Ted, Ted was live streaming. One of his yeah. cross country trips fell into the shadow realm. Guess who had my, to bail him out? Guess who had to bail him out? My my. Oh, that was you. Cousin yeah, my brother Jables was a part of that stream. Yeah. 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 Cousin Eddie, I'm not in the stream. I wasn't there. I was there to pick up the pieces. And who did not get a shout out? Cousin Eddie. So you bring that Uncle Ted motherfucker around here? You bring that Uncle Ted motherfucker around here? <laughs> yeah! It's gonna be some flowers. It's gonna be like the 4th of July. Well, well, no, 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 no. How about, how about, you, like, I don't, I don't see any issues with yeah. author, yeah. uh, for now, stuff now look, look, and having you guys work out your differences like a man. Look, 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 I'm seeing in the chat right now, there's a real Jeff holiday. Jeff? You see that motherfucker, Uncle Ted? You tell him he owes me seventy four fifty. Sorry, seven hundred fifty four seventy two. That's what he owes me. <laughs> I ain't bailing him at the shadow realm again. Pay his own damn child support. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't fucking money for him. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> No, wait, no, I'm done. I'm done. Move on. Move on to the next story. Get on with your fucking twitch.com internet TV show. <laughs> and I see here. Fucking move on. <laughs> what the fuck, Eddie? Fuck you talking about, Eddie? I'm cousin Eddie. Cousin I Eddie. I said Eddie! Damn, bitch. Ah, you... oh, damn it! Look, Get I right, know you're in California, Rimtree. but you're fucking. Right. Yeah, it's not. It's not the California way to go. Just making fun of people like that, and calling them by the name they're not. <laughs> you know what? You know what that is? That's that liberal bias. <laughs> Just because we talk different doesn't mean that we are. 
<laughs> what kind of bullshit? <laughs> Fuck you laughing about, Cali boy. Oh my god, you are so weird. All right, Archie I think this one's wave. done. <laughs> Archie, go catch done. your fucking wave. Let me and Jimbo's handle the show. Jimbo's. You're the only ones know what's really going on. Me. Yeah, you don't know shit. You live in I know plenty. Place. Earth is flat. Moon is a fucking hologram. Yeah. We all know this shit. Well, actually, I think that we uh, we're actually in a hollow Earth, and all the all the stars in the sky are just holes in the in the covering above us. But yeah. that's another story for another time. No, 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 no. Why is it that Jimbles is the more well spoken one? Look, look, listen, I don't want to hear nothing out of you from your gun-grabbing, fucking belly-surfing, California ass. Hush up. Hush up. <laughs> oh I'm speaking, I'm speaking the Lord's truth, all right? I'm speaking the Lord's truth. <laughs> now you sit down, sit down, and you learn you something, all right? All right? Now look, Jimbo, <laughs> Jimbo's on to something, because... There's this band, right? Like back what back in like I don't know, like two thousand in, in, in the in in the in the Bible. Yeah, in the bi no 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 in, in, in the Bible it says that there is a there is a firmament over the earth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 cousin Eddie. What is the Lord's Jew? What the fuck? <laughs> the Lord let listen here, boy. Lord ain't no Jew. <laughs> But what is the Lord's Jew? That's the question. What is the Lord's Jew? Yami wants to know because you said you speak the uh, you say the Lord's Jew. What is the look, Lord's Jew? Look, I said it before. Sometimes I have a hard time articulating myself when I begin to sober up. Right? <laughs> so I'm gonna slam me some more of this youngling traditional lager here. America's Number one, first brewery. Thank you very much. Given to us by the Lord above. Praise be. America, fuck yeah. America, fuck yeah. America, NASCAR. praise God again. NASCAR, Earnhardt. <laughs> God, I hope we get some people just randomly showing up to this last part of the show. Like, oh, what this is talking? a good Christian. Sir, this is a good Christian channel, and they're arguing against some dumbass, dumbass atheist. Oh, this yeah, is good shit. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch their hold, next hold, show. Hold, hold the phone. That's Marco. how we got. That, that's how we got that sweet boy angel. <laughs> now look at here. <laughs> look at here. Jimbo, Jimbo, oh, on some shit. Now hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna learn you some real shit right now. Hold, hold on. Uh. Now there's this American rock band. You may have heard of them. They're a little satanic in the name. They're called Incubus. And they got this song. I don't remember what it's called. But there's a line in the song. It says, The sky looks like a backlit canopy with holes punched in it. Now what that is, that's... That's the Lord's truth right there, boss. Yeah, that is. You See, you I'm, live in I'm in agreement. I'm in yeah. agreement with, yeah. with with Incubus. Yeah, I disagree yeah. with the name, but I, yeah. I I totally agree with this oh, song. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. They, you know what they're doing though? You know they that's that's some of that their subterfuge, is what that's called. Subterfuge. They took a satanic name, so that all the atheists start listening to them. Those goddamn hedonist atheists. Yeah, yeah. They got a name like Incubus, so the atheists pay attention to them. Well, I, I, mm. secretly, secretly, they doing the Lord's work. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of that. I'm a huge fan of that band Slayer. Did you know that that uh that lead singer for that band is a devout Christian? Goes to church every Sunday. Doesn't do Saturday night shows just so we can go to church every morning. Look now, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. I'm watching the chat. There's a little character in there called uh, prop, 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 pr
some kind of Ching Chong Chinese name. Uh, says, let's pray for Cousin Eddie. Look, I thank you for your prayers. Thank you for doing the Lord's work. Jesus love you. America. What, what, what do you think about UFOs, Cousin Eddie? Oh, they're real. They're real. Were they you ever abducted? Devil. You, you, no, no, you, no, 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 UFO just stands for unidentified flying object. If you see something in the sky that is unidentified, that is a UFO. I know this guy, he goes by the name Ben Pies on this dumbass atheist uh, podcast called Drunk Peasants or some shit like oh, that. Oh, don't get me started he was talking, on him. He was, ta- he, was ta- he was talking about some shit where he saw a fucking weather balloon, didn't know uh, what it was. Uh, and that is classified as a UFO, an unidentified flying object. I'll tell you what weren't, what weren't identified, that damn banana, that damn banana weren't unidentified. We know oh, that, 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 uh. That amazing atheist or some shit like that that TJ TJ yeah. Kirk knows. Yeah, yeah, it went in. It came out of chocolate dip <sighs> banana. I'll tell you that. Oh, wait, what? What are you talking? What did he do with the banana? Did it peel it? Did he eat it? Look, like, y'all, it's been did... fun. It's been fun, but cousin Eddie got to get back. He got a curfew. His <laughs> like his fifth baby mama gonna be real upset. Well, the show's going to go on a little bit longer because we're yeah. covering for the ten minutes that Jeff needs. <laughs> now, hold, hold, hold on, right? That's what, Jeff. I'm all right with Jeff. I'm all right with Jeff. It's the Uncle Ted song, bitch. I, got a <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty good with Uncle Ted. I'm kind of miffed that he threw out that tastic that I tried to smuggle to him in prison. But other than that, we're all right. Like, I was, I was on the radio with him. Well, Jables was on the radio with him. Well, he was a... Uh, well, he was driving his truck around and shit, and I had a pretty good time. Jeff's chasing waterfalls. <laughs> Jeff, don't go chasing waterfalls. Don't, don't, don't stick go to the chasing. river and the streams that you're used to. Don't, don't go chasing them. Where. Let that be something we can all gather around in prayer, take a moment to reflect on. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Dare, Especially if you jump, dare, you're gonna fall over, you're gonna die. Who's gonna pay child support? Before before we end this stream, I want to lead us in a little bit of prayer. God damn dear, it, <laughs> dear sweet baby Jesus. I swear <laughs> to God, <laughs> dear sweet baby Jesus, please end Jeffrey's diarrhea because <laughs> he needs to start a show soon. Amen. Well, I, I guess we can do a Hard Times article while we wait for them to start their stream. Hard Times? Is that that? Is that oh. another, like, atheist uh, parody site and whatnot? Like, Guys, what the fuck happened? About... What the fuck happened? I was drinking Yingling and I passed out. What the fuck happened? <laughs> is the show still on? Is yeah, it's still, still on? on. We have to go an extra ten minutes because Jeff is having oh. issues. Oh, no. Let's t- let's read about. Uh... Oh man, I miss cousin Eddie. The fuck is cousin Eddie? <laughs> the fuck are you talking about, Jables? What? Are you, I'm not Jables. I'm Jibbles. The fuck is Jibbles? <laughs> when did this happen? Yes, I guess. <laughs> Jables needed somebody to sub in for a minute. Uh, apparently the the boys went live. They're live? Yeah. Sweet. We'll transfer over to them then as soon as I can get it up on the screen. I'm sorry. I don't know when I passed out. I missed like the last like half hour, I think. All right, everybody. We've been here last week to Discord. Hold on, I still gotta set up the range. Late night scenes, pretty soon here. We'll figure it um, out. Be sure to tune in next week. Uh, check out the check out the vod over on YouTube. Uh, like and comment, share that shit. Um, be sure to like next week. Uh, just like retweet me or something when I post the announcement on Twitter. Um, there's also, uh, yeah, we'll be back next week at 4.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And also, tonight, might be doing a special movie night tonight. So keep an yeah. eye out for that announcement. Oh, did you find the video? 
I'm working on it. Um, I will also be there if that helps draw more people in. I don't know why I would draw more people in, but I will be there. All right, then. So mm-hmm. Come come say hi to me, because I'm super important, I guess. Whatever. Yes, you are. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, we'll <laughs> go with super important. That that works out just fine. Boop. All right. Ending the ending and rating now. Thank you.